I hate to get rid of beautiful art from an artist, even if they are an evil artist, but I will eat sushi from behind a garbage can. Oh, she's halfway down. She did like a bird of prey scream. Hey, it's Anime K Swimming Bird, and welcome to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. This is part five, or the continuation of Everbay Coast World 2. So if you missed any episodes so far, please check those out. And if you haven't subscribed or hit the bell, please do that. We are going to start Concrete Isles. Oh, I already see some bombs in the background, so Crash is most likely returning as one of the few copy abilities they brought back. It's interesting to see which ones they carry over. Hello, what are you? Oh, we got some returning buddies. There's a seagull just floating around. Hi, it's weird to see normal animals. Greet three seabirds, okay. <laughs> interesting, yeah. I wouldn't really call that greeting them, but I wanna see what happens if we go into here. What if this is a secret warp? Nope, <laughs> this kills the Kirby. Oh, he's got the bucket on his head. <laughs> like the one seal that loves the bucket. Oh, what is this? Interesting. There's a lot of little green uh, diamonds floating around. We need five of them. Let me see if I can get Crash before these explode on me. There we go. Got the Crash crown. Oh, okay, we're gonna need it here. Go! And I think we only get one of those, yep. There we go. Oh, I didn't finish them off. They're gonna get me. I think they're invincible. We gotta be careful. I could try sliding on them. Nope, they blew up, okay. I was worried there was gonna be like, just feed all the enemies with crash. Certain secret or something. Oh, there's one right there. And another seal to deal with. Let's get it before it falls. Okay, I wanna try to charge this up and see if we get anything special for doing a crazy, powerful crash. There we go, it just released on its own. Hit maximum blast. The seal, I wonder if he's got something, because he throws little bomb balls, so he's probably got bomb. And we've raised the treasure. Oh, I hear a D in there. Everyone who's worked on an oil rig knows you gotta raise up the big crane by collecting five green diamonds. That's why, you know, they get paid the big bucks. You gotta learn this stuff in trade school. Can Gordos destroy Knock Knock Nuts? Question on everyone's mind. There we go. Corn! Oh, jeez. Okay, we don't need to destroy Knock Knock Nuts in this one, but we do need to greet seabirds. I'm worried I already missed one because seagulls are a little hard to spot. <gasps> This is the new copy ability, I'm thinking, because this was in trailers. Come here, little mole. Hey, don't you dig away from me. We got drill. Whoa, it really flies through the sky. Can we drill in the water? Or do we have to, oh, no, no. Took my power away. I wonder if we just need to be standing still. Yep, there he goes. We can pop up. I'm gonna get rid of this mole before he takes me out. There we go. Oh, we just had to raise it up. I was gonna say, it seems weird to be able to do that when it's underwater. Nice. Somebody buried their toy and we found it. I still wonder, as a kid, I was really fascinated because there was a lot of people doing the like time capsule stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna bury a time capsule. And I think I did remember to get it like not that long after. I was really into, I don't know if anyone else was like the same sort of weird kid. But I was really into the idea of, like, burying something or freezing something. I used to freeze my toys in water. Like, they, in my mind, it was like Star Wars with Han Solo, where he was frozen in carbonite, but they were, you know, I would freeze them in water and then thaw them out and stuff. There's a seagull. Now, I would do that with a lot of stuff, like bury it or freeze it, and then unearth it later, like treasure, stuff like that. And it was just kind of a weird thing that was fascinating to me. I don't know what it is about it. But yeah, I, I keep wondering if if I went digging at my old childhood home, there would be some sort of time capsule with something I probably didn't care that much about. Enough to put it in the time capsule, but not enough to part with it. So who knows? Might have to do some trespassing. Some, no. <laughs> I'm sure that that, yeah, 
has changed hands multiple times over its states away. But maybe one day. Oh! A power lift. No. <laughs> I'm gonna dig into it. I want to check that other area, though. I, I feel like this is... The open world is a little paralyzing at times because I don't want to miss anything. And I don't want to drive into any Gordos, either. There's definitely something up there. There we go. Oh, we're gonna have to spit it out to get up to that. There we are. And dig it. Oh, no! Okay, good. We can fly up to here. Yeah, if you're moving, Kirby doesn't do the standing dig. You have to be... Oh, yeah, we don't want to go to that yet. You have to be standing still, which is tough for me to do. I bet there's a seagull hidden in a corner or something. Oh, this is down. This looks like I can go over here. Oh, we're breaking out of bounds. What's over? Oh, there's always sleeping a Woofie's near secrets. I feel like that is like a telltale sign. And this one is hogging all the desserts. There we go. And is that a bonus? Usually the orange denotes that's a bonus thing. And the, the yellow is like, that's gonna take you to the next area. We're missing a hidden Waddle Dee somewhere. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go back and keep my eyes open for seagulls. Drill's pretty good for mobility. Oh yeah, there's a couple things here that I didn't get. Like this. Let's go up. It also springs you up good. And that's the last one of those. Maybe this is the one I'm missing. Because that's gonna have something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's weird how there's they don't have the chest there. There's just a pile of treasure and a squid. And then once you raise it up, then it pops up. Okay. What are we missing? We've only... Yeah, we have one more other thing. I'm going to do a quick scan around. There you are. Okay. I should have trusted to just head to the end because they're sitting right there. Greeting is should be in quotes because we're really just scaring the sequels away <laughs> with our hypnotic drill hat. Okay, and there's one more hidden Waddle Dee and one more secret thing that I have to discover. Oh, I gotta remember to use this to dodge out of the way of stuff. Does this go all the way in? Because that's gonna be scary if it does. Yeah, I don't know about Drill yet. It seems pretty fun. Just because you can use it for some mobility, like I was talking about ice and certain powers that do give you extra mobility, I think are pretty pretty fun and especially in this world where there's more space to navigate and three dimensions at the same time I don't know what it is about other like hammer is my favorite of the older powers I like beetle a lot even though I don't think that's that scene is that great of an ability either oh here we go secret oh hey what's this guy's deal is this yep we're gonna eat this random tube pipe mouth Okay, and then, oh, we can jump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're gonna have to... <laughs> oh, I need that. There we go. Okay, good. Jeez. What did that do? Oh, it unlocked the cage. Okay, good. And we're just missing whatever that other secret is. We broke our pipe. But yeah, I'm trying to think of... I remember Bell and I think Beetle and Bell were both from Triple Deluxe. Robobot was all about the Robobot getting extra abilities, so they're kind of doing that a lot more now where instead of necessarily that many new copies it's like well, we got these other things you can do like climb in a robot that has copy abilities or eat a pipe oh we dug up a maximum tomato okay that wasn't too tough and it's nice that we can just kind of dig forever all right we did it and we can use this to go around and yeah you can kind of Ooh. oh no <laughs> get a little too crazy and get hurt Okay. You can do some uh, some angling of your dig in the air, your drill, so it's fun. What did we get? Cutter. We've got that already. We read that when we unlocked the blueprints. And a woofie. Oh, they have deep. Okay, good. A common beast that can be found all over the New World. They're pretty cute, but they have a dangerous wild side. They'll growl and jump at anyone who crosses them. A whole bunch of these critters attack the Waddle Dee. Funny, you'd think they'd get along. Hmm. Is that hinting that the Woofy are not actually bad, but they're being misled? Because we've, we've run into them in the mall and stuff, and they've been fine. They're on dates. They're napping around. So it doesn't seem like they're all bad. 
but maybe they're being led. I was thinking about why it's the Waddle Dee that are being captured. None of the other Dreamland creatures, they all fell in line with the Beast Pack, except the Waddle Dee. And maybe it's because they're just loyal to King DDD and they don't want to betray him, but we'll see if he shows up. Dig and destroy, drill trial. I keep forgetting to check the time on these that I have to beat, but I really should just be moving as fast as I can. And hopefully we'll make it. They're all in this weird void. Now what's faster? Oh, what do we have to... Quake Surge. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to restart this. Because we have to go around it to break it. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Because I didn't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I'm like, There's no way I'm gonna do that if I have to figure it out. And then, yeah, I need to do a tight square here. And then we can dig under to go through. Oh, get out of here, you moles. Thanks for the ability. Oh, the key to this is to hit them when they're all together to speed it up, I'm guessing. There we go. And then I can kind of move my way. Is di drilling faster than moving around, I wonder? Let's see. I'm sure we need to do that. Oh, we got to do it multiple times. There we go. Or not. That's just a thing in the center? Hmm. I'm wondering if Drilling a circle does like a quake ability, I think. But it doesn't actually seem like it's necessary in this little spot. That's just a platform, yeah. It's the weird crate things that I gotta deal with. Get that guy out. Jeez. Yeah, this one, I'm a little worried about the time. Oh, he's still locked. Get out of here. I feel like this is a long one to have to hit a target time for. Maybe I'll give up on my challenge. <laughs> Oh, get these out of here. Be relatively weak, Scarfy. If you can't take them out, though, then you're in trouble because they become Cyclopean demons. <gasps> ah, seven seconds too short. I'll give it one more shot. There we go. All right. I chopped off like 20 seconds off my time once I knew what I was doing a little better. And how to hit multiple enemies by just drilling up from underneath. Okay, let's see if there's any more secrets around. Check some of these islands. Hmm, that looks like, yeah, there's the boss door. I think we're just gonna head to the next one here. It is Scale the Cement Summit. Said it like a <laughs> Beverly Hill Billy. The Cement Pond, the Cement Summit. All right, and we just got drill, so I'm wondering if they're already there is another... I already forgot what it was from the trailer, so I guess that's better for me to be excited and discover stuff, but I feel like... Oh no, we... Ranger was the other copy ability, and we did see that already. Oh, get out of here. Nice. Immediately get rid of those wanted posters. Oh, I lost my drill. Didn't mean to do that. Bomb might be useful if they're giving it to me here, but I want to use drill while I can. There we go. But yeah, the wanted poster, once that, we saw that first level where it was one of the side quests to ooh, get rid of those. I hate to get rid of beautiful art from an artist, even if they are an evil artist, but I will eat sushi from behind a garbage can. There we go. Oh, blueprint. Ah, clutter needle blueprint. We can evolve the needle ability. Nice, okay. Clutter Needle. I wonder if that's going to be... Yeah, because it's already got this sort of flair of being a bunch of stuff sticking to you, which is really fun. But I'm wondering what it's going to look like once it evolves. That might be the thing we finish up with here. These guys are adorable. They look like aliens, but I guess everything in this is kind of an alien. <laughs> what do you think about it? Let's grab this. Oh, storage mouth. That one's so just simple where you just eat a thing to get rid of it, but it's fun. Okay. We're getting close to the... Uh, we, if we don't already have the 60 Ds needed for that other building, I feel like we're real close. Oh, what are we... Oh, the, the ladder's over here. I was going to say, I thought there was a ladder to go up. <laughs> but it was the other side. Shotso! No one wants me to have the new copy abilities this time. 
I did see that, yeah, the longer you hold Kirby's uh, suction, you know, his uh, <laughs> inhale, the bigger it gets until it gets kind of like that hyper mode from Triple Deluxe a little bit. But it's not inhaling all the scenery or anything. That was one of the simpler but cooler abilities, I think. Hmm. I'm gonna keep Drill for now. I wanna get good at it. Figurina, or wait, Flur Flurina, sorry. <laughs> It's a, it's Swana from Pokemon, basically. It's one of these ballerina ducks. Whoa. Can we circle around and make, yeah. Seems like there is a certain art to doing the Mario Party cutout thing where you drill out the Goomba or whatever. Yeah, this is good. And we can kind of avoid a lot of stuff just by being underground. Oh, except I went right up into it. Oh. She's bowing all proud of her accomplishment. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of Drill because I'm thinking she's got classic ability. Yeah, tornado! Woo! This'll be good to get around. I think when I'm in the air, I wonder if I have, if I have to be running to do it. Hmm, let's see. Whoa, we can suck up blocks. Oh, we, there's a UFO looking guy too. We go a lot faster when we have an enemy, I guess. Oh, I hit it one point where he went really fast there. I don't know what I did exactly. We'll figure it out. Oh, oh okay, they're just also tornadoes in case we missed that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I just have to hit it and let go and he just kind of goes. There we go, that's what I was doing. I was mashing it before. Oh, there's one. That's not timed, is it? It is. Let's go, go, go! Hopefully we have this really fast ability. And we can just cheat up there. <laughs> Alright. Where are these wanted posters? I gotta make sure I'm not missing any. Yeah, that is, it's even cooler than the, the sword ability to wrap stuff up. There's one. To me, it feels cool, like a more visually cool thing. Needle also does that. But yeah, being able to just wrap up everything in a tornado as you're moving feels more interesting than having to be kind of stationary with the sword. So I can see why we unlocked this a little later. Oh, we're just gonna have to go across all of these. Oh, oh, I missed it. I think I can still hit it. It's not timed or anything, right? Oh, okay. I see. I'm gonna try to go back without hitting it so I don't have to do a delayed start. Alright, here we go. Bam, bam, and... Bam, okay. Yeah, they, there wasn't a timer on the screen, but the switches only stayed down so long. Anything in these pallets? Nope. Oh, avoid the spikes in the secret room. Oh, I guess if I had accidentally stepped on that, there we go. I knew something would be shipping on those. <laughs> the spikes, yeah, if I had accidentally landed on those, that would be a really hard one to find out on my own. Hmm. Okay, we need another wanted poster, and there's one other thing somewhere. Did we get everything from over here? I just want to make sure I'm not skipping over anything. I gotta keep a lot of... Oh, jeez. I was just talking trash on Sword's ability, and then they're like, hey, ours is cooler. Oh, can we sit on here? I gotta do this. I gotta see. <laughs> you think that would be a fun little uh, Easter egg? Sit on the bench and just take a chill. Looks like he's uh, the one Kirby Amiibo. I think the Smash Brothers one is the one. Whoa! This is uh, interesting. Where are we going? I don't. I guess I go up and down with this. I don't quite know how to control this yet. Okay, spin tackle. I'm gonna have to descend pretty quickly to hit some of these. Jeez. Yeah, I'm a little worried with anything where I'm gonna have to uh, uh, go on auto scrolling that I'm gonna miss something on the way. There we go. It's always my worry that I have to do a thing again to get everything. Uh, I bet there was a like, don't get hit by any Brano Burts, and you'll get the secret watermelon. No, I got it anyways. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. Yeah, this is, uh, oh no, I missed a ring. The inverted controls, they messed with me. 
I bet it's like, get to the end without missing any rings. Or there'll be a wanted poster somewhere here. <laughs> Just in the middle of all this. Hmm, yeah, I might have to do that again to get the rings, because I missed a single one. Let's see. There's got to be one more wanted poster somewhere, though. What is that? Oh! I bet that lets me go back. There's a thing on the side. Oh, there it is. Get it. All right. And then I'll have a soda before I go back and do that. Mr. Frosty. He's just chilling out here by the knock-knock nut. Grab whatever this is real quick, too. Yeah. Oh. There's like a patio furniture. Okay, I'm going to go back and retry the arch mouth. Yeah. See if I can get all the rings, because I'm going to guess that's what it is. Oh, this looks secret over here. Ooh, yeah. I saw that crack last time. Aha. And I switched my controls, if you notice, this is inverted in the corner. Because I was like, it wasn't inverted. I'm used to when I fly. It's that Star Fox brain worm that I got from a, being a child playing Star Fox 64, where I always want to have you pull back on the control set, you know, push down to go up. So it was really messing me up, but a lot of people, I think, just like it to be up goes up and down goes down. There we go. That got unreverted. I got my soda back. We are missing... Oh, there's one more thing, though. Hmm. There's got to be something else here. I thought it would be, because we got a secret one from that. Maybe it was beat all the enemies in the paragliding arch glider thing? Hmm. Otherwise, I don't know what it is. We'll see when we beat the stage, and then I'll go back and do it. It's not Papa Squat in one of the chairs. Just checking for curiosity. Nothing here? Okay. Yeah. Not always going to hit everything on one run through the stage, unfortunately. But I'll go back and, and get whatever this last one is, because I got everything else. What is it? Freeze... Oh... I definitely wouldn't have gotten that just randomly. Florina with I didn't grab ice to fight her, so. Okay. Oh, we got bomb. Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it. Hold, aim, throw. Throw, hit, boom. You can run and throw them too, or roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. Bomb is basically the bowling ability. Chili is back. Wait, Mr. Frosty. Ah, the last episode I was calling Chili. Mr. Frosty, but that's the walrus. Apologies for that. <laughs> Someone has already commented. All right, so let me go and fight Florina one more time and I'll see you guys there. Nope, we also unlocked this. And that. Okay, drinking my milk, grabbing my ice ability, and we're gonna freeze her. I wonder if it's like thematically freezing the wind or I don't know this is a bird that would maybe migrate so jeez <laughs> they don't do well against the winter winds there we go yeah I should just dive through her with my icy abilities Ooh. oh jeez we gotta jump over that things that I learned from big gory mondo I gotta remember with her now this one doesn't have the dive you just kind of protect yourself with that ice barrier, and then hope that when you break out, she's not right on top of you. She's <laughs> it's pretty much invincible seeming though when I'm in that. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're fine when we go through as long as we're using our crazy ability. Oh, she's halfway down. She did like a bird of prey scream. Now that we're using this too, and she's a lot more difficult because I'm not making these earthquake things, it does seem like she's doing more moves. Oh, we froze her. Oh, that was what we needed to do. It wasn't just to beat her. We literally had to freeze her with it. Okay. And then I'll see you guys at the end of the stage for some new capsule toys. So now I know why Chili is at the end here. So you can grab him and then realize you forgot to beat the mini boss <laughs> with the ice power. Okay. Interesting that Florina is not wild Florina because they're new, so they're not adopted into the beast pack. They're already a part of it, I think, is, is my guess, but maybe if we get a toy of them, we'll learn. First, we got the radio, one of the main characters of Brave Little Toaster, <laughs> and the car. 
I love how a lot of this stuff is just, yeah, this is a car. It's just a radio. It doesn't have a funny, silly name, like Willy Wheels or something. Okay. And that's the last little D straggler. So let's head back to town to finish up. And we, we do have some other little stages I'm gonna do next time. Two of those. Let's see what they are real quick. It is Tornado and Chakram Cutter. Okay, and we got that blueprint, so that was why I wanted to go back to town. We got 75 Ds, new building unlocked as well as a blueprint for a new copyability upgrade. So I want to see what that is. <gasps> a cafe, just like in real life. A Kirby cafe. You can eat with the Waddle D. The 60 Waddle Ds you've saved work together to rebuild Waddle D cafe. Oh, not a Kirby cafe. How fancy, wonder what's on the menu. Oh, what's this little guy doing? You can now play Waddle Dee Cafe, help wanted. Work fast to serve a line of hungry locals. Yeah, in the real life, if you don't have someone to sit with at the Kirby Cafe, I think they will sit a Waddle Dee with you. The needle ability can now be evolved. Pay a visit to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. That's what we're gonna do. We'll check out the Kirby Cafe next time. <gasps> this little bench guy is a friend, and then this person. Hey Kirby, I think one of your copy abilities is ready to be evolved. Sorry, I was speaking like a Waddle D. This guy's got a drink from the cafe, and he took my chair. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you drinking that? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh no! Oh, I saved him only to pick him up in a whirlwind. All right. Oh, we unlocked a bunch, new stock. I just added the crash ability, enjoy. Oh, hammer ability, tornado, drill, and sleep, of course. <laughs> I wonder if that might get upgraded to be useful. Whoa, is that a cut of clutter, needle, blueprint, rather? I wanna make that, gimme, gimme. All right, let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. Is he gonna automatically do it, or I gotta pay for it, of course. There it is. Thanks for waiting, the needle ability can now be evolved into Clutter Needle. Cutter and Clutter is it confused me a little bit there. There we go. Oh, let's see. Ouch, ouch, careful with those spikes. Jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Nab a whole bunch of them together, then launch them off all at once. Pow. Let's evolve it. There we go. We have plenty of stones where I think we're gonna have ample for all the abilities so far although a lot of, I think a lot of them have a second evolution so but we're only on the first one I'm not gonna get ahead of myself whoa he's got a cactus shit like a yeah a tower a spring what is that back there an arrow clutter needle a rusty nail Ugh. and then a bee stinger on the back and a bamboo shoot whoa there's even more once we get in here Oh, and then the springs fall off. Jeez. Isn't Mr. Sandbag's not actually gripping on. I guess Mr. Sandbag's been around a while as well. He's another enemy or a character that I didn't remember from other Kirby games, but he's been here. That's usually the case with most of them, unless they're animals in this one, because most of the animals are Beast Pack members. Oh, you got something else to say? With the needle ability, you can extend your roll a bit by picking up enemies and blocks as you go. Let go of B to throw stuck objects and enemies in front of you as a powerful projectiles. The needle ability will also let you roll through strong winds. It's so versatile. Oh, what else? Did you know you can inhale each of these abilities right off the counter with B? You can also drop your current ability with Y. Oh, if I wanted to just take it instead of having to select it. You can set each ability to your preferred form. That changes every instance of that ability to match. Nice. And then this is redundant now, right? Yeah. I think orange means he's got new dialogue. And then gray is he's just, yeah. I'll let you know things again. Oh. Aw. He really wants to talk to me. Okay. Can we pick up Waddle Dees? That would be so sad. No, we just knock him down. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddies. You're so cute. Yeah. All right, thank you guys for watching. Next time we'll continue with World 2. We've got some bonus stages and then I think the boss is coming up pretty soon. Two more stages left, it looks like. I'll see you then. If you want to leave a like, maybe subscribe or hit the bell for more Kirby. Goodbye.